Right. Rap groups. Scene. Now in front of the Paramount Theater, the concert begins at 7. Their hits with teens around the country, the groups collect fans and critics. So the rap groups get a rep for drawing tough crowds, and the Beastie Boys' fondness for Volkswagen hood ornaments gets the blame for a rash of emblems ripped off cars. But the groups say they're not to blame, and as Tim Daly of our Portland station, KGW, reports, the Portland concert last night came off without a hitch. After all the talk of violence, it turned out to be just another rock and roll show at the Coliseum, and the kids ate it up. It was almost a year ago now that a Southern California Run DMC concert was ruined by gang violence. Since then, the group has carried a reputation for tough concerts and tough crowds, a reputation that group members say the news media has unfairly attached to them. They don't know what we're talking about. They don't know what we stand for. They don't know about all the positive things we do. I wish there was somebody like me when I was young that I can look up to, you know what I mean? Just tell me some positive things. Unfair rumors, perhaps, but they were taken seriously by the Coliseum, which bumped up security by 25%, by Portland police, which put out two dozen officers, and by the bands, which brought along metal detectors. A few extra parents were at the Coliseum as well, not in the concert area, but in a courtesy room set aside for people who might normally drive to the Coliseum after the show to pick up their children. We, we enjoy it. I think this is great. I'd, I'd like to see them do We'd probably come more often if... Uh you know, if they continue this. The Coliseum will consider a parent's courtesy room for future concerts while the two rap groups continue their tour. Tim Daly for News 8. Remember, all the fuss began last week when Seattle Center officials canceled the concert in the Coliseum, fearing that there would be violence. The performers maintain all the worry over concert violence is overblown by city officials and particularly the media. The curious are already lurking near the Paramount Theater, many expecting to see if what they've heard in the media is true. I think that there's going to be a riot after the concert because the news keeps on saying that there's going to be a riot and they keep changing. A look at recent Run DMC concerts would show otherwise. There was no violence at the Run DMC concert this New Year's Eve at the Tacoma Dome. The last two stops in Portland and Honolulu were equally uneventful. In fact, the last big hullabaloo occurred last August in Long Beach, California, where 42 people were injured in a fight at a Run DMC concert. Despite a violence-free year, Run DMC says the media just won't let up. I think the media is just trying to sell, you know, make news, trying to make something up, and it's just ridiculous. Run DMC spent part of the day working. They filmed a commercial for a new line of shoes and clothing. They are entertainers, yes but businessmen too. And media speculation and city reaction to that speculation makes it hard to do business. I'm spending $600,000 in security because I know the media hypes the people and the people who start thinking like that. So I'm, I'm getting scared for the people also. Yeah. So I'm spending, I spend like $15,000 a night on security and the, the kids are not even coming because the parents are not giving them the money to come to the shows and the shows are so peaceful. I just don't know what's going on. As Jam Master J tells it, the British media totally misled readers about a recent meeting between the other group, the Beastie Boys, and an autograph-seeking fan from a children's charity. The Beastie Boys asked the fan to wait until they were finished with their live radio interview. The headlines the next day screamed, Beastie Boys beat up crippled children. Jam Master J says that's not what Run DMC is all about. I'm always telling the kids positive things because I know nobody else out there who's making records is doing it. They need somebody who they can understand, who's talking, and they can relate to as a, another kid, you know, to give them a positive message, and that's, you know, my purpose out here. Paramount owner Ulysses Lewis says there's undue fear attached to rock concerts, which he sees as a healthy outlet for young people. We're hopeful that we can show the, set, the whole community that kids are cool, kids are okay. You think it's important that young people have concerts like this? Absolutely. This is their form of communicating with each other and more importantly, letting us know what's wrong with our societies from their viewpoints. Lewis and Jam Master Jay note the name of the tour is Together Forever. They say this is a chance for young people to prove they're together and not antagonistic. Mike? It's now in the record stores everywhere, of course, but rap rose from the streets to become a commercial success. Here's Linda Burrell. If 
you have all the power. It's the street it's sound the of the 80s. Rap is a mixture of rhyme and rhythm. It's music with a message. In its purest form, music without melody. With the galaxy of rappers, write up and rhyme wrist. I'll knock you down when you feel higher Cause I want you all to know The Power Chord's guaranteed to rock the show on three The group Power Chord just won the K-Fox Rap Contest Rappers record their own background sound And then talk in rhyme to the beat Rapping is competitive You go to school and you're the best rhymer And everybody knows that it's the same thing It's a status symbol And so it's worth it to get out there in front of everybody and, and do your best rhyme and then have them cheer for you. That, that's what it's all about. It started in New York City in the Bronx, well known as the Boogie Down Bronx. Started on the streets, uh, most notably a guy by the name of Grandmaster Flash used to bring his records uh, to the parks and on his turntables and uh, just uh, mix just the beats off the records and cut out the vocals while he has some guys uh, making uh, rapping rhymes over the beats. Part of its popularity is that you don't need formal music training to rap. Yeah, I rap a little bit, you know. Yeah. Hustling in the streets so like a nine to five, you won't yeah. quit but no guts to try. Sell games for a living, which ain't hard to do. Stabbing marks in the alley, boy, is that really you? So take it from me. Yeah, yeah, well, it, it used to be the CD, now it's Bellevue. <laughs> What started as a New York street scene is now a commercial hit. The music has begun to incorporate more elements of rock and roll music into it. And therefore, um, rock stations, which previously were real reluctant to play it, are a lot more eager to play it now. White kids are hearing it for the first time, and they like what they're hearing. Rap ignites dreams. Duracell, an Ingram High School rap group, won the all-city talent show last week. So hold on. These teens want a record contract. I mean, obviously, all the rap groups that get started out, that's what they want to do. But see, while we're doing it, we're having fun doing it, you know. My absolute obsession is my expression when I'm on the microphone tearing up this lesson. For God's sake, my utterance is kind. My speech is I did my philosophy fine. It's street poetry in motion. Linda Brill, top story. Duracell word. Pretty good. Police say they will have extra manpower on duty for the concert tonight just in case. Most of it relating to controlling large crowds. Streets within a one-block radius around the Paramount will be closed to cars. Officers will be mounted on horseback. And Seattle police say they will also beef up the number of uniformed and plainclothes police officers. A police spokesperson would not say how many extra officers were being added, but says the nature of the group's reputation warrants the attention. Okay, and that's the wrap on wrap. When we come back, though, the scam on spam.